bring out, out some big stuff the last few, three, four sessions especially, some big pieces. Uh, make sure you're okay with that. Uh, uh, that you're sort of comfortable with it. Hopefully you've been playing, experiencing whatever we've been laying out. Uh, Sensei's Danny You're, here from Danny. Um, yeah, um, I think about two months ago, for me, I had an experience that really highlights what you presented here the thinking, feeling, sensing. And it was at a point in my recovery that I felt there wasn't a lot happening. And I sat out on the porch, you know, the porch. Oh yeah, well. it was the yeah. It's the end of a lot of coffee and cigarettes, cigarettes on that porch. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and there was a patch of sunshine which I sat in because I was really quite cold. And I recall thinking how nice it was to feel the depth of the sun on my body, mm-hmm. and at the same time, a- acknowledging or accepting, I actually felt like crap. And I had a lot of mental stuff going on. And as that happened, I started to settle deeper into it and and started to feel my body and how I was in the moment. Then I felt or I sensed an energy outside of me, which I sensed flowing into my into my hara and then uh, horizontally. And then like this word was stay with it. And it filled my body up and 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 expanded it, and then I felt the energy leave again. And this happened the day after as well. But significantly from that point on, I started to walk, which I hadn't been doing, and I started to exercise. And yeah. my healing took on another, um, yeah. or my recuperation at least took on a, 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 another level. Okay, two. So can I just, jump in? Time for me to jump in. Uh, two, two things caught my attention there. One, when you were first settling and you felt the energy coming in from the side, could I say? That in staying there and hanging out, did it not reposition itself more to the middle where you said your body got yes. far? Yeah. Yes, Re- it can, it, I felt Remember that we talked through. about the it's side. Different that I picked up your self as being off to the side a bit. Yes. In that arena. The second thing was it went away. The, uh, whatever you said, the energy went away or what, whatever. Yeah. Uh, qu- quite possibly right there. Uh, I might say, I might, if it happens again, go over it. Uh, it didn't go away, but there's another level of it. So if you got time, you want to continue your, process uh your inquiry uh that you do some kind of trade in there to pick up another level of that energy force that's there would be what i might do with it because it doesn't just go away go away uh right. yeah it might be uh, it's not showing at this level to get more of it showing we have to trade in and get to another level where it'll show at that level. That would be my guess as to what as to what you should do. That's what I might do. But play play with it. You know, if it happens again, yes. double check it. You play with it with that 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 sense. Yes. Of, uh, Thank of that. you. Yeah, very much. Yeah, um, I I think also, um, yeah, I was. I kind of felt that it was an experience. I didn't feel like going anywhere else with it. It was it was quite significant, and um, but yeah, maybe that was a bit of laziness, not not working with it a bit more. It kind of depends on how much. Maybe it was the end of the session, and maybe you know yeah. you had done enough. You felt you had done enough. Uh, you're more limited in your endurance, let's say, and maybe that was. Just okay. The the curtains are now closing. It's it's finished for the day. We'll come back at it another yeah. day and see if we can get to an even finer level. Could have been the end of the day. Your call there. Your call. 
you know, what energy you have to continue, how much interest you have in continuing, or is it the end of it for the day? Your call. Okay. But I'd like to at least present it as a possibility. So, helpful. so people don't, uh, don't, ooh, what, let's say, cut it too short uh, or get lazy too fast. Could I say it that way? And not real well, but yeah. That if I'm just sitting, say, right on my front porch and, and I've got an hour there at least, and uh, if in five minutes something nice happens, and I say, oh, that's the end of it now. I, I don't think so. I'm out there. You know, I've, I've got an hour free. Uh, I'm not going to finish in five minutes and say, well, that's it. You know, I'm going to double check, trade in. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's just changing scenery. Maybe it's not the character. Maybe it's the self wants a turn. And then an easy and self maybe wants to show how the construct of creation works. But... If I've got time and I'm not tired, no place to go, then I'll continue. Yeah. Yeah. See, see what's trying to unfold there. Yeah. Yeah. Blend. Same. I think I said the same thing. Okay. People, where are we going? What are we missing? Uh, what should we highlight more? I have some ideas, but again, I, I'm not sure if we're all ready for another big piece and another big piece. Uh, I don't want it to become a, a, an information library and then we don't do anything or have time to play and experience these things. Blah, blah, blah. So where the hell are we? Talk to me. Yeah. Hey, Sensei, it's Dusty. I'll ask something if that's okay. Um, that's why we're here. Dusty. Yeah, I was talking to Noah Sensei, and I kind of missed some of last week. But we, were, I guess, we were talking about a map of creation, a map of self, and a map of character. And okay. I guess what I'm wondering is, like, do you need? a map of self and a map of character like when you have when you're working with the map of creation or uh oh uh, 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 wait 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 i think we have presented or if i haven't done it well we will uh of main pieces okay a main piece is self for example okay uh, and you can spend some time just majoring in that. And when I think when we when we presented self, a lot of people ooh liked playing with that and wanted to major in it for a time. That's fine. Okay, it's not the only piece, but it itself needs some practice time of allowing self, finer levels of self to show. So that's a main piece, okay? Now that's, self is going on in the creation thing. Another time the, how the creation works, center to circle and the beats of energy, whatever. And it may want to show. Then you just highlight that and you major on that for that session or that day or that week or maybe even that month. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the character who a lot of people stop short with. They think of the character as the body. Bobby, Robert, not those. And say, that's it. Now it's getting finer. There's no more character. Potentially, they've gone off to mental. Character continues. So uh, soon. Yeah. We'll get into the continuation of character uh, heading towards archetype as a much finer level of self. It's you, archetypes, our main aspects of you. So we'll, we'll get into the continuation of self, and that's a major. Yeah. Did I lay this out all right? So there's three major pieces here? Yeah. Um... I guess in part I ask, it's okay, I'll just, when I was more manic, 
And I kind of wait, wait when you were what? I have a bipolar thing and I get more manic sometimes. And oh. I got real <laughs> manic for a while and I couldn't stop thinking about concentric circles and like circles revolving around me. This was kind of before I did a keto, but I'm wondering, I'm like, just, I had these circles going around my neck and my chest and then around my Hara area. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't know, kind of seems like there's maps like built within us somehow. And um, I guess I'm just, one, yeah, I, you answered my question. I've got a lot. Of, yeah, let's go back to the circles. Are you sort of wondering where the circles fit in here? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, or if the circles, is that just thoughts? Is that uh, just Remember, we did a session on space. Easy. There is a finer, bigger space here. Easy. There is a finer space here, or a more original space, we may have said. Same, 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 more original, bigger, finer. Uh, possibly those circles were the space trying to show that it was there. <laughs> Tighter space may feel like you're choking, like it's a tight band on your neck or something. Settle it more easy. It touches the heart area, easy. And you feel a little bit different at that level. Touches the, in a little bit, sense a little bit larger one, it's touching the heart area, easy. Physically, you begin to feel better and more open and looser. Plus all the nice feelings of being sort of okay, more okay. Uh, so possibly a circular pattern was laying out. And I would might call that, right or wrong, I might call that the space. That space may be a very important word. We got character, we got self, we got the, how the structure of creation works. And space, I want to come back on space, maybe even next week. Uh it could be an important uh, component to have some experience with in more space, a better character in more space, uh, a truer self, selfing, selfing in more space, creation can unfold better at that level of how it works. So space may uh, may be a, a major, I'm, I'm researching and playing with it myself to fine, fine tune it to see if I can should present it that way as a major thing. Yeah. So that would be my guess, wonderment, if if what you were getting. No, yeah, no, thank you. It just what you said resonated. So yeah. So something like just for something, if you notice a, a circular happening around you, uh then I would say, oh, okay, uh, space wants to present. Let's let's make up those words. Space wants to present. Okay, easy, easy, settle, open, and more space. At which time soon, not the first one necessarily, but a couple, uh, should be a, a sense of a little bigger circle and a sense of more space. Uh, so if we're on to anything, uh, next time you pick up a circle, you play with it a bit, that way uh and and if that's it it should unfold that way is that okay did i say it right yeah yeah no you always make things not so complicated so i yeah. think i think that's part of my job <laughs> you know i think <laughs> good thank you creation for every man <laughs> Not for intellectuals, because I'm not. I'm not Einstein. I can't lay it out that way. I know shit about math. I can't really lay it out that way. A little psychology, yeah. I can do a little bit there. Uh, physical movement stuff, eh, not bad. I'm not bad there. I can lay it out a bit there. Uh, but somehow to present itself, anybody and everybody should should catch how it works, catch potentially the simplicity, 
pain in the ass sometimes, but there is in there a, a, an intelligence of potential simplicity. <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean we're not going to trip, stumble, and oh, what? what the hell's going on? What does this mean? Kind of thing, you know. Uh, but do the best we can. Anyway. Ah, oh, the human condition. People, where are we? Where are we? Where are you? Anything we're missing you want to say do more of? And I'll jot a note down here. Uh, well, I'll mark down his uh, 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 space. Well, I think I already got space written down from this week. But let me jot it down here. Space. More room. Okay, somebody, where are we? Where are we going? Sensei, this is Lauren. Uh, a few weeks ago, you showed a different diagram, uh, um, the concentric squares inside of a circle. Mm -hmm. right? The progression of character development as opposed to nonlinear, the linear progression of character development one by two by. Oh, there it is. There it is. One second. I'll turn the page. That one? That one. That one. And that one caught your attention. It did something for you. So it did at the time, but I, I wonder if you might just review it. Oh hell, I can't even remember what that was all about. What did you get out of it to start me going? <laughs> well, you had been talking about uh <laughs> character development in the progression one by two by or bad day, fair day, good day, any one of those. Yeah. sort of sequential progressions being yeah. kind of linear in the manifest world and building your character in the manifest world appropriate for the situation in the manifest world. Okay. You know, but that to, let's say, uh, uh, go out into the hidden dimension, ah. with, operate nonlinear. Yes. You have to actually let go of the, Mm -hmm. linear style <laughs> linear style yes thank you the linear style that's what caught me yeah and and, and it clarified for me um uh, uh uh the membrane what you previously have called the membrane between the dimensions right that and allowing the passage through that membrane is it's kind of similar to what I've just called letting go of the linear linearity of the manifest world in order to access the or ride the non-linearity of the hidden dimension. And and for some reason, the square inside the circle, yeah. you know, it's something for you. It, it did it for me. Yeah. 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 And so um because we've been talking about character and situation and we've been talking about dimensionality, but uh, I mean, I suppose that this diagram as elegant as it is now, you, you know, could have a second circle around it, uh, you know, signifying the, the divine. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. First uh, I'm, I had to, but I'm sorry we had to throw that word out there because the domain level is very important. Okay, now we're getting a little ahead, but I will try to lay this out another time as a special class. Uh, but I say I'm not sure where you're all at. We need a certain amount of setup in the manifest linear to. Make a move on, don't have the words here, make a move on uh, to domain. Like if you have no sense or experience of self, it's going to be tricky. If you don't have a sense of body and body's experience, it's going to be tricky. If you don't have any sense of the construct, center circle or anything and, and the vibrations that are there, you're going to have a little trouble. So I got to make sure that in the linear manifest world, you, you've got certain basics down. Okay, because you need certain basics to properly 
make a, I, I don't have the words here, make a move on, to stop doing upgrading linear, which was very good in its time. We needed it. Bobby Robert Nado, we needed it. Okay. But then we like are going to change directions. That's not the right phrase. One reason I haven't presented it yet is I haven't worded it well yet. <laughs> so bear with me here. Uh, here's what Osensei would say to me. Uh, the linear is getting finer and finer and finer. Okay. Bobby Robert Nado. Okay. Finer and finer and finer. When you make a move towards the nonlinear or the domain, he likes the word there uh, more original. So it's a shift from finer, finer, finer. That's nice. You did good. Okay, you're not a Bobby anymore. You're not a one by oneer who won't understand any of the shit anyway. Certain amount of something now more original. So in, in that change, I call that a change of direction, and that's that's not a good proper word, but it is a change of styles. I'm used to upgrading. I've been doing that for years and teaching that for years. How to go from a Bobby to a Robert stuff, huh? you know, where I came up with a one by to a two by or a bad day to a fair day kind of stuff. All that stuff, very good, but more original. I'm, I don't know the words yet. See, I need time to get the feeling for words for, for y'all. Sensei, aren't you already using the words that, that the, this larger circle is the domain of the self, the domain of nonlinear hidden dimensions and hidden energy? Okay, if you do it that way, if you do it that way, the domain is a very important training place. Big time training place. That's why I don't want you to jump into the circle of divine. Not yet. Not yet. The domain is the training place so that you'll be proper in the domain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So again, right. I right. we have to throw the word out to give you sort of a big this map, a big schematic of things. Manifest. The hidden domain. Oh, divine. Now, I know what people are going to do. Screw that domain stuff. I'm going for the divine. And they'll screw it all up. I'm sorry. You'll screw it all up because you haven't set up the proper pieces to properly move into the domain to train there for a little bit, which is the setup for being proper in the divine. In, in, in a way, it feels right. like the the training in the domain is to find the frame with which the flow can occur. I want to even say safely, but fully, you know, in that, in that dimension that. Right. So. You, thank you. Here's what O Sensei calls it to me. Yeah. The domain is a library. Okay. A lot of information unfolding of how things work. Okay. With the stipulation that a lot of people are just going to be library types and they'll be aware of that. Okay. But it's also a laboratory where you practice with certain things to get a real experiential, for lack of words, feeling for the finer of things and how they work. And we're not finished. It's also a gym, a gym. And for me, the word Jim uh, seems to point a little bit to the continuing of the character at that level of do domain. And right there is where I want to bring up the archetype cells. Okay. See, unfortunately, in the linear, you've heard the word archetype. You read the book. You saw the pictures. You think you understand archetypes. Well, we haven't experienced your archetype or types yet. But it starts to uh, show and be, in, become important in this shift to the domain, in this trade-in to the domain. So self and character and construct of creation. All will be finer in the domain 
to be experienced and to play in there a bit, to get well versed in it. We'll see about the divine when that comes up, but nothing, we don't need that word right now. We're going to have enough to do from here to the domain. Don't know if I said anything proper. Did I? Yes. Thank you so much. But it just takes time for me to, to get the right wording or wording that'll get the sense across. And I'm not quite there yet. Uh, um, you know, I'm sorry, it was, do I call it a change of directions? Or no, that's not quite right. Uh, and certain things I do know, oh, there's a big trade in here. You know, like you're trading in all of the linear manifest and boom, we're approaching and beginning to be in the domain. Okay. Um, again, having had some practice before we've done this with character, self, and a bit of the construct. And uh, I just mentioned to Dusty, uh, 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 space is showing strong again. I want to come back on space. We might need a sense of uh, more space, more space, a more original space uh, to facilitate this move. So I'm working on it. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> And be careful when we lay certain things out like the self, a lot of people are like, whoa, yes, the self. Oh, now I'm home free. I really love the self. Uh, and it's like, yes, a, a very important piece. My God, yes. But it's not the only piece. Okay. I was talking to Noah and uh, Tija, and they brought up a name of some well-known Mah Maharaj and Maharaj, whatever type, uh, who majored in self. But in other ways, his life was a bit of a shambles. Uh, I don't even think he had a sense of really the construct of things, but he had a good self. Okay. And the problem with one approach is they can be very special. But somebody who did this work just as character would also be very special their way and attract attention. Somebody who had a sense of the construct and was okay with the construct would be very special their way and draw a lot of attention. Also potentially confusing their followers by saying, this one is it, self only. And I say, well, if you got no character, we're missing something. You got no sense of the structure and the continuing of the structure. You're gonna screw up a bit here. Uh, so, uh, so when any one piece says it's important, it might even say it's everything. Now, it's everything, it's piece. It doesn't mean it's everything, everything, everything. But that's what it'll say, maybe. That's how you'll pick it up. Okay. That's not to say you can't highlight that one for quite a while. You know, some of you were enthused with self. Good. Spend some time. Give it more room so it can sh uh, show experience the more of itself as self. Nothing wrong with that. But it's not the end all. It's not the only piece. And then the following month or something, I'll come up with, now this is an important piece. This is called character. And you go, well, wait a minute. Is it self-important? Yes. We have a, a, a three Zs or four Zs game going on here. We need all these pieces properly. To go fully, 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 uh, and we'll pick up a lot in the uh, in the uh, do domain practice place. Fully, properly, fully, properly, it should naturally drift into the divine of things. And don't worry about that. We have enough to do right where we're at. <laughs> Getting ready to make this shift from from linear improvement to more original domain level, gymnasium, library, laboratory. Okay. Yeah. And I, I like the way, since they told me those words, uh, just the library of it is knowledge for a lot of people. And they're so, yeah, they'll be sort of be aware, but there's no uh, one part, let's say the character, 
has an exercise there, let's say, uh, using terminology we understand. Character has an exercise uh, in the domain. So something's going to be missing. We, we need all the pieces there. Okay. They potentially facilitate each other. Okay. Some of you didn't know that before. I think it came up, uh, I don't know, a week, two weeks ago. Somebody said, uh, oh, I didn't know that uh, a character could uh, could check itself by asking the, uh, the uh, structure where it was or a self could say, okay, self, self, self. Now, who am I as a character? And that changes, then character can begin to show at this level of self, here is the character who you are, I am. Or at this level of self, gee, where, where, quite am, where exactly am I level-wise in the construct of creation? And then the construct will show at that level, equal to your size of self or your size of character, they'll, they'll relate to each other, they'll support each other. So you can, I need a word, compare them No, They reinforce each other. Yeah. They, 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 they help each other develop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice system that, what's his name created? <laughs> Pain in the ass sometimes, a lot of huh? But it's 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 showing nicer and nicer and smoother and smoother and whatever, whatever. Or as, as those sensei would say, no, no, it's so easy. But you have to catch it. <laughs> uh, so you guys have to play something catches your attention, play with it, settle with it, open, get get more room so it can unfold more clearly, whichever piece it is. Try to get clear on which piece is presenting. Don't want to confuse the self with the character. See, they, they, they overlay, so it's a little tricky. But with a little practice, you can tell the difference between a space presentation or a self presentate presentation or a character presentation. They, they really, even though they overlay, uh, with a little practice hanging out, it, it clarifies. It's, it's experienced. They're all experienced, for lack of words. Sensei, yes. question. Yeah. Character and qualities. I've always associated the qualities that make up the character. And that character is able to shift very quickly, too. And okay. See, another big piece here. Uh, best I can catch at the moment. Uh, in the origin of creation, you as a free spirit, soul, whatever his name is, okay, we each chose out of the qualities that were there. Okay, certain, I, I, I call them colors, just to make it simpler. We each chose our own color scheme, okay? <clears throat> and we've pretty much been following that color scheme since that time, all along the way. Uh, some lives I may want to uh, project more of my greenness. Another life I may want to project more of my blueness. Another whatever, whatever. And your shades of those colors are different than somebody else who has a similar colors. Yes, but the shading could be different. You could be a forest green, but your guru is a lime green. Uh, so you really can't feel exactly what he's feeling because you're a forest green, but you can kind of relate to him. Oh, he's kind of green. And, and oh, well, I'm interested in him. I like him. Uh, but we're so individual. And that's good. It's you. It's called you. Appreciate you. It seems that once the system is open, the different qualities will come in that may be surprising. Like, where did that come from? I didn't know oh, I was yeah. that character. Yeah. I didn't know oh, that. No, no that through the years. Yeah, Otherwise. through the years, I've been surprised when a certain quality shows or a certain capability. Where did that come from? So I found out early, to be very clear, I didn't really know who I was. I left it open. It'd be like, today, I'm Bobby the Warrior or something, you know. 
but that doesn't mean I'm going to be that forever. I, I don't know who I am. I don't know the more that's here. Knowing if I continue the work that I was doing, uh, that more would unfold and surprise me again, probably. So yes, to be surprised is good. In fact, I was considered a good honesty factor because you weren't controlling everything. Well, this is what I'm going to be. And uh, uh, uh. you're open and suddenly there it is. And holy shit, where'd that come from? Or I, I didn't know I had that that sense or that capability or something. Yeah. So following that's the, fun. those qualities or the, the colors of that further character development as well. Yeah. Uh, and the colors uh, get in the domain. They're even clearer. Hmm. In the manifest world, the linear, uh, they're there, of course, but they're, I don't know, what kind of come? They're all murky, could I say? Mm -hmm. yeah. In the domain, they're going to show much clearer. That's where the archetypes kick in because they're, 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 they're coloring. Mm -hmm. See, one of my archetypes is a Buddha. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean I'm supposed to study Buddha or Buddhism. No way. It's my, it's me. It's my archetype. And as I sit with the Buddha sense, oh, I enjoy the uh, calmness, a lot of calmness there that I get. And wisdom, a lot of wisdom there. And just to hang out, calm wisdom, wisdom, calmness. Me hanging out, not, oh, the Buddha, the Buddha over there, and I've got to study the Buddha over here. Bullshit, this is you. This is your, your colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did I say that okay? Uh, and there'll be other, others. I think my, my wild guess here is we probably have at least four major archetypes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm still working on mine, by the way. I'm just, uh, art text is sort of a new approach, sort of, or the getting clearer with it is, is another archetype is a clear, uh, the glass man. I spotted him some years back. I forget how, but something kind of glassy. Okay. Uh, and now as I uh, play and, and, and get into a, a better level and allow him to take the stage, uh, clarity. He's got clarity on how things work. Uh, and so I start calling the class man, <laughs> clarity. Uh, and I forget what else, clarity and something else. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I've got the warrior character, and I'm going to be a little slow on the, as you can imagine, on the, the love aspect. <laughs> It'll take me a little bit to get the flavor of. <laughs> Not my first grab. Uh, but he's, it's it's there. It's just the, the way it shows is not just loving. Kind of <laughs> anyway, blah, blah, blah. So we will get into our types, especially as we make an approach. Is that the right word? Uh, move into, if you would, the domain, uh, archetypes will come up heavy duty there because they should be experienced to get those finer qualities that are there and a better sense of, uh, of character at that level. A character goes back pretty far. I think people drop it along the way because they get into finer sensing awareness of things which sounds like there's no body. No, no, there's still a, a finer sense. I don't know if we can call an archetype body a body. It's not a body, but it's a body. It, it's, it's feeling itself. It's, a, it's aware of itself and it's feeling itself. It's present with itself. And the words, damn the words which get very hard to use word. We're gonna be in a domain here soon Try to talk to people in the manifest world. Jesus, it's, it's, a, it's language is shifting. And God knows what it's going to be like in the divine world, trying to talk to the people who are in a one by one or two by two or whatever. 
it's it's not easy. Oh, since they had a bitch of a time, never could really get that perfect. It's it's not something you can do perfectly. It's just the way it works. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> Got me going on a tangent there. <sighs> Mike from New Zealand, Sensei. Who said I lost? Mike. Mike, oh, Mike from yeah. New Zealand. Okay. N not Mark. Mike. Not Mark. Mike. <laughs> yes, Mike. I was just, um, I hadn't picked it up when I originally saw this um, diagram, but for me tonight, it, um, the the one by two by three by squares feel like the representation of the physical developments of techniques, people working on their techniques, getting them better and better and finer yeah. and finer. Yeah. And then at some point, something happens where there's the squares, well, I don't know whether it's the, the, the walls fall down or whatever, but you realize that that, or I realize that that isn't, that's not all that's there. Yeah. And then it's it's the moving out towards this. It's a change, okay? A yes. change of direction is not the right phrase, people, but it's it's suddenly a change, a different way of doing things. Right there again, oh, since it would say to me, uh, more original. This is refining a finer and finer and finer. So finer and finer and finer. But there's a point where it's like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's there's something else going on here. And that's about the same time the self ought to be showing itself more because you're at that level. Okay. And that starts to maybe for a lot of people be the first thing that touches them. There's, there's a self, they can sense a self there. Right around in there probably means we've hit the right location, so to speak. We're balanced enough through the harmony within the manifest linear setup uh, where we're going to change tracks. Not the right phrase again, but I like the phrase more original. It's, it's, it has a little different sense to it. Don't know if I said that well, just saying the same thing again. Blah, blah, blah. Mike, back to you. Yeah, no, that that yes, that sounds exactly right. I was just visualizing as you was talking that in fact, as you go from one by the two by the three by the four by whatever, maybe if you're if you're uh oh god, what's the word? Um allowing new perceptions to come in, that the walls of each one by two by gradually get less dense, almost transparent. Well, Maybe, but let's not worry about that. Let's not stay in the linear, seeing oh, no. the walls fall down in the linear. You're still in the linear. This is the trick, people. This is the trick. We're so used to the linear and have used the linear to develop. And then we're going to be at this different setup here. And if we're still linear in, no matter, oh, no more walls or whatever. Uh, you're still in the linear. You're not in the domain, practicing domain level practices. And, and we're all going to bump into a little something like, like that. That's why I'm looking for words to try to give you a heads up about that. <laughs> but that was a good example. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> yes. Well, and I was also going to say, I used to um, present ideas like, you know, it's just all you've got to do is turn a switch, flick a switch. That's, that's all it needs. Um, and I would demonstrate how that would work, but it would happen over a couple of seconds. It would be a, me gradually improving my posture and all that, all that stuff and settling and, and feeling more grounded. Good but, linear work, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I used to um, imagine initially that I could just flick the switch without any linear process and now most of the time i am actually able to do that and it's genuine it's 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 going from one state to another uh, could, could, and, we say, getting, could we say could we say if i'm hearing you that that 
I'm looking for a word when we stop linear improvement and start to get involved with more original that we could call that flip a switch. Yes. Yeah. Into a, I don't have to call it again. I need time to figure out these words about this to change direction. <laughs> bad, bad. It's not the right word. I'd offer the fact that it's it's the trouble is it's actually beyond any of the regular words. Uh, very, yes. <laughs> yes. That's the trouble. And that's why it's so hard to <laughs> it's a bitch. Because <laughs> I guess bitch. it almost sounds like the words that we're trying to use are all coming from the linear perspective. And, <laughs> it's a bitch. And, yeah. 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 So we do the best we can. We mumble along. They're going to misunderstand <clears throat> and whatever. Uh, what can you do? Just do the best you can. Try to improve, you know, your layout. Uh, I, I like to switch words around uh, so people don't get stuck on one word, especially with a misunderstanding of that. Switch the word around. Let's try this word for the same thing. This, fla this flavor for the same thing. Whatever may way. I inter may I interject? May I interject? There's a a cool a cool bunch of words that really strike a home. Um, you know, you're talking about like a, a a shift in almost a dimension, and I think of that as like uh, arithmetic to like geometric. And <laughs> lost and, me on those. I, see, I I'll, know, I'll, I'll, I'll never know, use those I words. Know, I know. So so <laughs> don't so, know what so, they mean. <laughs> Okay, so so bear with me. So here you go. So it's like it's going from like um, being like a, a, a linear to something that's non-linear, which is harmonic, which is um, I don't know, uh, arithmetic, rhythmic to arithmetic. So a rhythm. Okay. To be in the right style, those are probably beautiful words. If you're in that crowd, use them with that crowd. I'm not going to use them because I don't understand them. And I don't know if my troops will understand them. You know, like but you've got that group, go for it. You, but you had Tasia, who was so great at doing harmonics. And those are like great, like, like words that could be used in your presentation i think those are great words the words that you mind. just said the words that you just said i could use oh yeah i don't understand them i have no feeling for them so no yeah i can't use them i i haven't experienced them yeah i'm not in that zone Harmonic. When, yep. when water talks to me, starts talking Einsteinian. I say, Jesus, <laughs> Jack, you're wasting your time. Or he goes, words, he starts talking basketball. <laughs> Jesus, I really don't know anything. <laughs> don't talk to me in those terms. Oh, Let's agree yeah. on the language. I, I, I we both talk I Aikido, it. so we can talk Aikido yep. language. Yep. That would be a bit better. Yeah. But I'm not going to use Einsteinian. I'm not yeah. an Einsteinian devotee. Oh, mean uh, shit to me. I'm, I go blank, huh? <laughs> I'm going to experience the universe my way, and in a, hopefully a simple form that I can present simply to other people. So, so the rhythm is sort of like you know, like the. the <laughs> okay, you're doing a water on me. You're going to try to explain rhythm. No. And Jack comes back at me trying to explain. Uh, 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 okay. That guy. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Get together with the musicians and you guys can sit around and talk. <laughs> and the dimensionality of rhythm. Feel free. Feel free. Okay. Thank I'm not you. Not ready to go there myself, but you're thank free you. too. I'm not saying don't. Think you hang out with it. You. Soak in it. You do hopefully finer dimensions on that lineage, could we call it? Har harmony, har harmonics. Uh, you experience it. And then you can lay it out better and better. And you can manifest certain things better and better. Go for it. 
I'm not boxing you people into any one thing, I hope. Okay? I happen to be an Aikido martial artist. Uh, if some of you are non Aikido, no problem. No problem. You don't have to be. You don't have to be a fighter. Uh, that's fine. You're a musician, you're a lover, or whatever. You're a paraplegic, or what? Hey, whatever. <laughs> okay. So that's sort of where I'm, I'm coming from, if I made any sense. Ah. It's Mike again. Hey, um, I, I just wanted to say there was one word that he came up with, which I thought was really good, and that was the word shift, shift. as opposed to change. I thought shift was a, yeah, it's not a word I've, um, I mean, it's a common word, but it, it just gives it, it, to me, it's got more of the feeling of, of what we're talking about. Now, for me, at the, at the moment, shift sounds like a, a movement off to the side. For me, I'm talking me now. It sounds like a movement off to the side. To zoom, zoom. I, I like that sense of it. I like the sense of the curtains closing and the next, what, what do you call it, scenery on the stage? What's that called? The next... Autumn, you hear? The next scene. <laughs> the next scene. The next scene. Yeah, the next scene is there fully. Uh, so shift is an okay word, but for me, I, I won't use it for me because I get this uh, little urge to shift. So being bang does it for me. If you like the word shift, hey, if that does it for you, fine. Just make sure you're not shifting up to the side. If you're not, hey, I got no problem with you using that word. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe the right words are bing bang. Maybe that's the <laughs> maybe that's the term that's needed. Yeah. Uh, Since I just want to come to Mike's defense here, I use the word shift sometimes too, and I use it in the sense of because uh, it's my vocabulary a uh, phase shift. So water changes to ice. <laughs> all of a sudden, and water changes to steam, all of a sudden. It's water, and then it's steam. It's water, and then it's ice. And it's so distinct that it's like this change of dimensionality or whatever we want to call it. So I, I, I'm, I think that sometimes sure. it's a good word for this. So <laughs> You like shift, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you're really pretty free in this game. Only time I will go, eh, is if I think you're getting off target. But if you're on target, I don't give a shit what words you use. I don't give a shit if you're in a dojo or a band or a hospital or a cat house, for God's sakes. Why don't you do it right? <laughs> so let's see how time I'll start to bitch if I think you're getting lost in there someplace, you know. But as to what you do and who you are, that's you. That's you. Yeah. You want to be a golfer instead of a tennis player? Hey, I'm not going to say, no, no, golfing is better. Uh, no, no way. It's you. It's you. Yeah. So in settling with yourself, at first, a lot of misunderstandings. There will be some, some people don't like themselves, let's say. They're, or they're afraid of themselves. I've seen a lot of that. They won't settle and open because they're afraid of what's going on. Say, like, hey, it's you. It's you. It's just stuff no one's explained to you. Oh, those are your energies. Those are your nutrients from the pot you're in. <laughs> they're healthy. They're great. If you hang out easy and don't freak out and don't run, don't make up stories, hopefully you'll actually experience, oh, this is nice. Wow. Wow. It's your, you with your stuff. Don't, don't be afraid of, of your stuff and finer and finer and finer. It is finer and finer and finer. Okay? Yeah. Mm 
Bruh. Bruh. Justin, I see your face. You got anything to say here? <laughs> Did you see my eyes burning into the camera? Um, I do. I do actually. I do. Thank you. So, um, so there was a couple of things that I'd I'd like to drill into going forward. One is through the experience of dimensionality character leading to a more available self in the space okay. with its own aliveness. One hand, remaining vigilant and consistently available during the during the, the day or what's happening within that. But I say right there, open to? Open to, yeah, open to the aliveness that's uh, available from a radiant core self within a certain space but vigilant, remaining available at a certain level of openness, aliveness. One thing, vigilance, okay. consistency, consistency. Second thing is distant second, maybe, maybe is a sense of lineage or mission that's being explored within the space that self is presenting his aliveness in to. I don't know if I said that well. But uh, yeah, you, you charge something here, but I also got a little bit lost. Uh, lineage stuff. Uh, I, I think a major lineage, or maybe the major, is who are you in the fullness of that? You, who are you? Now, oh, I mean, think about it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not oh, the Aikido teacher. No, no, I don't mean that level. Who are you? Who are you really? before you were the you that you think you are who were you all, all, all those kinds of things were just finer i call it backtracking finer backtracking into the truth of ourselves the reality of ourselves okay and the different pieces that constitute a properness the character the self the construct and maybe using the space again. I want to want to work on that some more. Uh, the space as a as a helpful piece. In more space, everything can unfold better. The self can. The character can. The construct of creation can. Uh, so I, I think we're just trying to backtrack ourselves. Uh, uh, is really the main thing. It's yeah. Ugh. I don't know if I said anything intelligent there. Yes. I'm sure if you said anything. <laughs> joking, joking. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Susan, you on? Say something intelligent here. She on? She's here, Sensei, but she's muted. Just stand by. Yes, Sensei. Uh, will you say something intelligent? Help us out here. Yikes. About what? Um, I don't know. The main question was people help. You, you think we're missing anything? Anything that's not clear for you? Where would you like to head? Where do you want to go? Actually, if I want, if uh, Justin doesn't mind coming back on, and um, okay. Justin, Justin. Oh, Justin. Okay, go back on Justin. Yeah, Justin I'm doesn't here. mind coming back on, and yeah, um, just going a little bit more, Justin, on what you said about um, self. Um, and mission. Self and? and I believe he talked about mission. 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 Go ahead. So, so, Justin, Susan is asking you to speak more about self and mission that you mentioned a moment ago. Oh, so um, in, in my experience, limited as it may be, I've um, experienced as a self within a certain space, a level of, of radiant aliveness self. Okay. 
and it 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 in in invites the the sense of of lineage or mission of of self within this life um, and how to remain consistently sort of on on track there on point and stay vigilant in a way so as to continue allowing um, the aliveness of self within this the space and um, uh, again be vigilant whereas a the character only isn't taking over with its own identity, ego, or agenda of thoughts, feelings that um, that limit the aliveness of self to radiate or show. Okay. Again, more words. Sorry, but could I? Um, anyway. You finish, or could I jump in for a sec? But yeah, please save me. <laughs> okay, you presented the little bit the negative sense. The self is really cruel and whatever. Uh, but the character will do na 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 stuff to it, okay? And then, does it really have to be? Yeah, 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 yeah. But does it really have to be that way? Self radiates through the character, and the character picks that up and gets a little clearer. Its character more alive because of this inner source glow, whatever. So can't the character be in accord? Does it have to be negative that way? Now we know if I wake up tomorrow morning and I'm a Bobby, we got a lot of negative. So I've got to do my process really quick or whatever to get out of that. But but should it be so that the character is the bad guy here and the self is the good guy? No, not at all. I, I, I feel that um, uh, this is largely a function of, of how much space is available, um, accessible to self, and um, and how much information or 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 qualities, dynamic are mixing within the space, uh, is a level of aliveness, self available at that level to occupy or work within that space, or should a finer degree of self be manifest to function well. Maybe I'm, as a self, not open, allowing whatever could be more functional self to operate well in a certain space. Okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, and Noah, correct me if I say this wrong. Um, Talk about self, but then you talk about functioning. Uh, self, maybe, self radiating through the character and the character functions because self is there potentially keeping this, the character in an upgraded level, okay? And either the character or the self fades, and I know oh, I got to click in again here. Ha 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 ha! But a finer glowing self, let's say, enlivens the character to move better, speak better, do whatever character has to do in his world. And that glow also is more than just character; it's character in his world, and in his world, the character it has a bigger spread than just uh, my nose. So you know, this bigger spread kind of thing. Uh -huh. So I'm not saying anything you said was wrong. I was just trying to say something. <laughs> Where the hell are we? <laughs> If we're going to talk, I need you in the front yard. So we can communicate. He visits me now and then. We sit in the front yard. Uh, where are we, people? Are you are you finished? You, uh, who started this? Susan started it. Susan, you started this. Come on. What did you get I out did, of this? Um, well, th thank you. Thank you, Justin. Um, I think it gets at something that came up for me a couple weeks ago when you were doing the self uh, identity to self progression where I felt that we have a, a, a responsibility or there's a desire of self 
to continue developing. And, you know, with what you're presenting tonight, with that balance of character, self, construct, and particularly space, that ability to develop um, that responsibility to develop, it, it happens better, happens more easily with that balance of all of those pieces. Does that make sense? Or people there's, are having there's a strong desire. There's a strong desire, at least I felt, um, at a particular level of self. There's a really strong desire, and I would say even a sense of responsibility to keep developing. Since I think that Susan is getting at the fact that as, <clears throat> pardon me, as the self radiates through the character, its natural tendency is to want to develop more, develop itself more. Itself, yeah, yeah, and back and forth, yeah. So there's that reciprocity, reciprocity, yes. yes. And to even increase, there is uh, uh, that was mentioned. Uh, maybe Lauren, maybe you, you mentioned it. The the uh, uh, each one is trying to assist or work and reinforce each other. They reinforce each other or yeah. resonate. Maybe is a good word. Yeah. Uh, they build and help each other. Yeah. Yeah. But and Susan's. Uh, I, I think Susan's trying to say that that's that's the natural tendency of the self if we allow it is to want to be developed more yeah. or want to develop itself more. Yes. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For those who have any trouble hearing her, she's way up in the mountain boonies. So, uh, uh, I was going to do a, a fun kind of exercise, an oldie, but a goodie, and I was going to add to it, but uh, we ate up most of our time with this great discussion. Maybe maybe you could end with it, Sensei. No, it's a little bit longer than the time allotted, so I might uh, might do it next week. Uh, let's see. Uh, so... People, it's your last chance. Where are we going? Where do you want to go? Anything inter not understood on so far those main pieces, character, self, construct, and space is jumping in again. I got to spend some time with space, see how it wants to fit in with all of this. Um, somebody? Nothing? You all got it down pat? You don't need me? Screw you. I think the thing is, Sensei, it's a, it's a journey, but it's a non-linear journey. And we don't have a destination that we're heading. Well, at least if we do have a destination, then we're limiting the journey. But, um, yeah, it's... I always often or often visualize kind of like the yellow brick road, but... You can only see a little bit of it in front of you at any moment in time. And then, you know, you get another little, um, uh, well, fr from your teachings and presenting information and stuff, a little bit more. Another, another flagstone becomes visible in front of you and you can walk forward. And then, you, so you don't get to see the whole path. You only get to see a little bit in front of you. And there's an element of trust in being prepared to keep walking forward and knowing that there will be more that will become visible. Or we could say, let it unfold. It wants to, it's there to. And that's again, damn, space kicking in strong. In more space, it has more room to unfold truer and more properly. So more space infers a finer level where everything can unfold, whether it's the self or the character or the construct. Boom. It wants to. 
Okay. Well, I think all we basically have to do is make ourselves available. And if we have any overt ends that are, are keeping this from unfolding, then I think we got to take care of those a bit. Uh, but basically, I think there's a simplicity in it's there, wants to show itself. Settling seems to help. Opening seems to help. Breathing seems to help. I'm getting a sense of letting go seems to help. So all those things are little partial tricks that help that that that's there to unfold and show itself, to be experienced, not just aware of, to be also experienced experienced so there so maybe that is a simplicity factor it wants to it's there yeah but if i'm in a one by one the thereness of it doesn't do anything for me i'm a one by one what a shame because wow even keeping it simple there's a three by three there all I have to do is stop hanging on to this one by one and believe it's the only truth and let go of my tensions. I'm hanging on to the one by one. Easy, easy, easy. You know, what happens pretty quickly is a three by three can be there and you'll begin to feel yourself in the three by three. And that's not Bobby anymore. Oh, and things get clearer, and it's not a, a bad day anymore. It's a, it's a fair day. Ah, and on and on and on. But again, that first introduction, for lack of words, nicer is there. But if I'm hanging on to and eh, it that it can't show. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people these days are getting tighter and tighter with the politics and the whatever and the what. They're getting tighter. They like this for some reason. But don't they catch they're doing themselves a disservice because that that is nicer can't show in their system, in their system, in their system. But you have to be careful that the beat of tightening is very strong. Uh, but it seems to me, Sensei, that that's also very much around, at one level, feeling safe. You know, you've got your nice little walls, yeah, you've got nice, your nice, nice you feel yeah, safe. Yeah. That's why it could be a major here. I have to really fine-tune with, with it. Space may be a good word that we should use of more often, more space, more original space, because everything else has room to show itself in the more space. So, yeah. And I also think as part of that, being willing to uh, allow those barriers to drop and, and go into a larger space, you need a certain amount of trust because you don't know hmm. what's yeah. in that space between the one by one and the two by two. You know, uh, you and Tija loves that word. Huh? Tija Yon, uh, trust. Don't you love that word? I think Tija may have uh, ducked out since they... Oh, no. Okay. Susan uses the word a lot, and you use the word a lot. and Yeah, yeah I think it's. I think that's an important piece as well. Yeah. But it's certainly how dumb do you have to be? You learn a simple way of moving from your Bobby to your Robert, and it's like, whoa, this is much better. And you do it again, and you're suddenly at your Nado. Whoa, this is pretty cool. How much, whatever does it take to say, oh, the next one's going to be horrible. It's going to be worse. It's going to eat me up. Uh, I, I've had three in a row. Should follow the pattern. Is that called trust? I, I don't know what the opposite of that would be called. Excuse me, I'm a little harsh. Pure stupidity. <laughs> well, I think in society generally, um, Trust is a almost like a precious 
commodity that people are very unwilling to um, uh, rely on because of, well, um, uh, just we because. Could, yeah. And we could get into what's keeping people from developing and get into all kinds of things. And I don't feel like doing that right right now. And that's sort of where we're heading. I don't want to go, go there. I, I have to deal with that a lot in doing my work here. I want to lay this out. Now, where are they going to screw it up? How are they going to misunderstand it? Uh, but I don't want to major, major, major in there because I'll end up in kindergarten level and I, I'll never get out of kindergarten level. Yeah. Absolutely. I've got to keep training me. I've got to keep developing, not develop. Is that the right word? Keep being more aware of me and how it works in the finer and finer, more original of me. Um, Sensei, really? this is this is Tom. I'm I'm not hey, on Tom. video tonight, and I came in a little late, so I apologize. But I can't help but um, think now about getting beyond the tight space and. And going back to this, your presentation of sound and the chanting that you introduced again, that opens us up and creates a, a place for character to develop. And, and I just think that, you know, the words get complicated and we get worried down and weighted down in the wording, but sound has such a pure, clear, quality and helps us to understand our um, qualities, our personal qualities, our individual qualities. So I, I love that you have introduced us to how sound works. I've had a couple of glasses of wine, so my wording is not so as clear as it normally is. Oh, but, I think uh, it's better, Tom. <laughs> I think you caught on to a secret. How many glasses? Uh, two by now. So it's eight o'clock, so it's past my wine time. I'm 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 in it now. <laughs> well, in two minutes, me and Brad are going to do our wine time here. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tom. Yeah, vibration uh, uh, chanting. Yeah, I I really liked it when I majored in it. Uh, it's coming back around a little bit again. Oh, Sensei really liked chanting. Uh, uh, it's uh, harmonics back to. Uh, uh, whoever, Sean, Sean. harmonics. <laughs> uh, yeah, just don't forget the pieces in harmony. <sighs> who are you now? Who are you, character, or who are you, self? In harmony, and at that level of harmony, anything else about the construct of creation that may want to show. Uh, so, so that's a nice uh, form. There are other forms, but that's a nice one. Not the only one, but a nice one. Yeah. I think everyone should touch on it a little bit. And if you really like it, spend more time with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're finishing. We're finishing. Thank uh, you so much, Sensei. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, thank you, everyone, for staying with us till 8 o'clock. It's almost 8 straight oh, up. Make the announcements again, please. Uh, once again, announce that. We've now posted uh, the video recordings from the October 28th and November 4th sessions. They're up on the Moon Sensei channel on YouTube. And also, there will be no class on Friday, November 25th, the Friday after Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Sensei. Okay.